as we're all talking about this and as this goes to court tomorrow, today something very weird happened. Photo kind of out of nowhere from five years ago from a magazine called NCC Magazine, Northampton Community College Magazine. 2018 um, lecture and Q&A with famed author Margaret Atwood. And isn't that a nice picture? Except for that whole business about the guy who's seated in the front row clutching his copy of The Handmaid's Tale. Um, it's kind of like a sea of women who went to this, you know, predominantly feminist author's lecture. And Brian Koberger took a front row seat, smiling, has picture taken right there beside, uh, right there. It's, you can see it underneath the banner that says Northampton Community College. That's Margaret Atwood standing right there in the middle. It's just all very weird. But he did graduate from that school that year. He got his degree in arts and psychology. And if you have read or if you have seen The Handmaid's Tale on Hulu, um, it's about a futuristic society where women produce children for the ruling class, kind of like slave women. Not good when you are convicted or when you are accused, uh, you know, years later, five years later, of murdering three women and a man. I want to bring in Caitlin Becker on this, the senior reporter for the DailyMail.com, because I'm still trying to figure out how this all came to being. How did this picture surface? Who took it? Who found it? It's just kind of so random. Well, Ashley, like you said, it was part of this magazine for the community college where Brian attended and where this you know, speech and Q&A was held. And like most things, it popped up on Reddit kind of out of nowhere. I think, you know, people go back through some of their archives and then they suddenly find the connections with something you probably looked at a hundred times and never thought was important. But here it is. And there he is in the very front row of, I think, an unexpected place to be. I think a lot of people were surprised when they saw this, that he was there. But there is a part of me that just isn't shocked when I saw this. Everything that I know about Brian Koberger based on the people that we've spoken to who know him, he is sort of the height of hubris. I think he's a little bit arrogant when it comes to his intelligence, so I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't necessarily agree with Margaret Atwood if he still would have been sitting front row in that Q&A. And so I think either way, I'm not surprised he's there. I wonder what that 90-minute Q&A was like and if he spoke up. We don't know that yet. Nobody's been able to uh, pop out from, you know, the, the sea of faces there. Nobody's reported out as to whether they remember him speaking. Although because he's one of the only dudes in the audience, it would be memorable for sure. And to that point, there have been a lot of people who've pointed out the fact that he is one of only two or three dudes. It is a very unusual place for um, a man who is, you know, who's got a reputation at this point. Um, colleagues at the University um, of Washington, Washington State, they said, um, you know, he was quite misogynistic towards his female students, that he graded them lower, that he was tougher on them, and that he was um, just, you know, altogether slightly rude to them. So this is very uncomfortable seeing this. It is. It definitely is uncomfortable. And it's interesting, Ashley, as just this week, his legal team has filed documents to have cameras out of the courtroom in this trial. One of the reasons they're citing is that when we see things about him, we dissect his body language. And they're right. I could not help but dissect the body language of the woman sitting next to him, who is very clearly leaning away from him in this photo. You can read into that as much as you want, but it did strike me as being a little odd considering everything we know about how he interacts with women. We, of course, have that story from the brewery owner in Pennsylvania who had claimed that they had to have a conversation with Brian because he was being a little creepy and aggressive toward female staffers and bar patrons. There was the girl who said she had a date with him some seven years ago and said that it was so uncomfortable and awkward, not aggressive, but just so uncomfortable that she fake vomited in order to end the date early. So there haven't been any real positive stories about him and other females that have come out. So to see him sitting front and center with a group of presumably feminist supporters of Margaret Atwood, a feminist writer, is um, there's some a bit of a disconnect there. Can we put that picture up again just for a moment? Because, um, you know, Caitlin just mentioned that the body language of the person sitting beside him. Let's put... 
Yeah, you're right. She does look like she's right? sort of leaning away from him. That is interesting. And I hadn't look, noticed that until you mentioned yeah. it. And Ashley, <laughs> and if goodness. you look on the other side, everyone's kind of leaning inward towards Margaret Atwood and towards where the photographer is sitting. And that woman is leaning away. It, it could mean nothing. That's a really nothing. You're right. You're right. It could mean nothing, but it is a, it's a great observation. And that's why you're a great reporter. Caitlin Becker, thanks for doing this tonight. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.